I'm gonna go ahead and react to this flamboyant dude talking about how gay men are not attracted to straight men and we don't want straight men and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch it and then I'm gonna go ahead and get my commentary on it. So let's go. Gay boys don't like straight men. We like the masculinity that they present themselves with. And let me clock it. Straight men think we're always hitting on them. Straight men just have this mental thing going on inside their brain that they think we want them. No, baby, we want the masculinity that you present, baby. Sometimes it's not even about the sex. Sometimes it's just about the feminine side or the masculine side. I'm more attracted to masculine people dating wise. I still would never date a masculine female, but still attracted to the masculinity that they present and the reason why gay boys just gravitate more towards the straight men or more towards the dl men is because of the masculinity there definitely are masculine men who are openly gay when we see majority of the gay boys is a lot of feminine gay boys i'm gonna say is we don't really want the straight men we don't want the dl men it's the masculinity that y'all give off that turns us on period and that's the tea gay boys don't like straight men we like the masculine men who are openly gay when we see majority of the gay boys is a all right. Oh, by the way, I got a uh, baby put some feet in here in my hair. So I got these little two, these two braids or whatever, these two low braids. But um, yeah, so all right, just to go ahead and comment on that, y'all, y'all already know I'm about to get on his head. All right. Uh, first, I like his hair. I'll say that, you know what I'm saying? But uh. Everything that he was saying, all right, first of all, to address gay men or bisexual men being attracted to straight men or wanting straight men, yes, that is a true fact, okay? Regardless of how feminine you are, masculine you are, you are going to be like, okay, there's a lot of us attracted to straight men, okay? There's a lot of us that are not, but there is a lot of us that are, and it's because, like I said in prior videos, we were raised around these kind of men. People adapt or they get their attraction and all that when they are younger you know what i'm saying whatever you exposed to you know a lot of people be like well when did you know you was gay oh when i saw that d'angelo video oh when did you know you was gay oh when i saw these two dudes at the west name when i was younger like it's always like you're molded your sexuality is mostly molded when you're younger so we were all exposed to straight men none of us were really exposed to gay men because we grew up in hor uh, homophobic environments and it just wasn't common you know what i'm saying none of this was common trans all that wasn't common so we just never got the ability to be attracted to it now as time goes on i think more guys will be attracted to feminine guys because we see it more we're more exposed to it but um as far as that that's what that goes a lot of us do like to turn out straight dudes regardless because it's just a catch i don't like this kind of gay dude y'all um this and the reason why i'd be reacting to these kind of guys is because these are the guys that represent a large majority in our community the reason why i don't like them is because or what i don't like what he said is because it's always deflection with these men you know what i'm saying it's never just like truth and honesty and you know there's no authenticity like what y'all be watching me for you can tell that they're saying what they've already heard or what just sounds good, trying to defend themselves so that they're not looked at as whatever he was trying to defend. Like basically, I guess straight guys have said that 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 they, that they think that he's attracted to them or guys like him are attracted to him. Straight men, yes, you're right. I'm not about to sit here and mislead y'all and co-sign with this bullshit that this man said. That is facts, all right? But uh, what else was it that I wanted to... Um, address about that oh he said that he don't like that they don't like straight men this is why i wanted to address this a lot of gay boys will have also hopped in my comments before on certain videos and was like we don't even want uh y'all anyway talking about bisexual men when i've made videos about how most bisexual or gay men are attracted to other masculine men even if they're masculine and then i got a lot of feminine boys or flamboyant boys commenting saying that's a feminine trait if you're attracted to masculinity and what else oh y'all just be faking and acting like y'all masculine but y'all really not what else um 
Yeah, basically a lot of guys present themselves as masculine, but they're really not. And that's why we prefer straight guys, because we want real masculinity and all this other stuff. All right, what's funny about that is this same dude that's talking about how he's attracted to the masculinity that straight men have and how also gay men have masculinity and that they're attracted to just masculinity in men. That same man, nine times out of ten, that you're attracted to because of his masculinity will not be attracted to you because you're flamboyant and they'll be mad about it. This is the same dude that be mad. These are the same kind of gay dudes that be mad when a nigga like me don't want to fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? When a masculine presenting mas uh, bisexual or gay man doesn't want to fuck with them, they get in their feelings because they think that they're supposed to be the opposite to us as if masculine men are supposed to be attracted to feminine men, but what they fucked up at is that gay means attracted to the same. So that means I want to have another masculine dude. You know what I'm saying? So what I really don't like about these kind of gay dudes is that they always talk about what they want. It's so much narcissism. It's like, I like masculine dudes. I like masculine dudes. Do you not know? Okay, so if you like masculine dudes, what makes you think other niggas don't want masculine dudes? Why do you think y'all the only ones that's supposed to be attracted to masculine dudes because y'all feminine? Y'all, that's a straight norm right there. And y'all always talk about we, don't, we ain't supposed to be following straight norms and then, and then be going and saying shit like this. Like, expecting a man to be attracted to you because you're flamboyant is a straight normative. Okay? Gay means same. That means that we attracted to the same sex, which means we're going to want the presenting of the same sex. When, it, when this comes to lesbians, there's a different story. They have a different perspective when it comes to this. But when it comes to men, my, nine times out of ten, we are gay because we want to have another man. Not a man that looks like a man, but is acting like a woman and has all the attributes of a woman. But then still can't even, you know, be sensitive and soft and stuff. And it's just pointless. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, like, the whole tone, the whole demeanor is so aggressive. It's so, yeah, we don't like this, we like that, and it's like you think that that this is cute, and it's not. It's so unattractive, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro, like, we don't want no parts of this. And for you to sit here and make this statement and then expect other men to be attracted to you, you're not what you are attracted to. How the fuck you gonna expect somebody else to be attracted to you when you ain't attracted to your damn self in this community? Now, in the straight world, that's a different story. But in this LGBT community, you need to look at yourself, be attracted to yourself. And then you'll know how that adds up to other people. If you're not going to be attracted to yourself, quit expecting other niggas to be attracted to you as a gay man. All right? Straight up. I'm really sick of that rhetoric. Why do y'all keep being flamboyant and then being attracted to masculine men and then making statements like this as if you're not going to be the one left out. Other masculine men is watching this video and is like, yeah, but crickets is, the gag is, we ain't attracted to you. So you talking about how much you attracted to masculinity, but where's the masculinity in you for a nigga to be attracted to? That's what you need to be worried about. It's not all about what you want. It's also about what other people want and what other people are looking for and what the person that you want is looking for. So you're trying to say you want a man who is masculine and wants a flamboyant dude? They're out there. They are, but they're farther and fewer in between. And I've noticed that a lot of them guys got a lot of self-identity issues because, I mean, hey, I'm not yucking. Nobody's young, you know what I'm saying? But I've just noticed that, like, it's just a disconnect. And they don't be wifing y'all like that. They don't be cuffing y'all like that. It's the same shit with the trans, with the trans people. These niggas be messing with y'all as a way to make themselves feel better because if a man was really comfortable with himself, he would be going for a masculine other man. He wouldn't be going for nobody who's going to make him feel better by looking like a girl because you still got male equipment. So, yeah, man, I just want to go ahead and, and comment on that or react to that video because it's just like the entitlement, the, the cockiness, you know, like, yeah, like we I, I, we not attracted to y'all because... We ain't just attracted to y'all. We attracted to masculinity. We just like the masculinity y'all present. Okay, so then where do you think the masculinity in you is at? Because I can't see it. And I can't tell what nigga's going to be uh, attracted to you. That's that's what you need to be worried about. It ain't all about what you want. 
Yeah. Then he was like, yeah, I'm not attracted to uh, masculine women. That means you're not attracted to masculinity. You're attracted to men who come off like men that you were raised around who were happen to be straight. We're attracted to vibrato. We're attracted to macho energy. And males. Because as a bottom, as a flamboyant bottom, I don't know if you a, a bottom or a top or whatever, but as a flamboyant dude, people are going to automatically assume you're a bottom. So if you are... There was no point in you saying that any, by throwing women in there at all because you're not attracted to women at all. So let's stop acting like it's about just masculine energy and feminine energy. You're attracted to the exterior traits of masculinity. You, niggas like this don't even know nothing about. These niggas are so emotionally immature half the time that they don't even understand the difference between feminine energy, masculine energy, and then being flamboyant and then being masculine. You can be masculine and still have flamboyant energy. I mean, you can be masculine and still have feminine energy. And then you can also be flamboyant, look feminine on the outside, and have masculine ass traits. And you ain't nothing but a man just with a bitch energy looking like. Well, with a bitch out, with a bitch clothes on. Like, you look like a girl, but you act like a girl, but you look, you act just like a man. Okay, that's what a lot of this is right here. And that's so unattractive. I've said it already before, all right? Ain't got to keep repeating myself. Y'all know what it is. Uh, that's it for this one. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what it is. I'll see y'all on the next one. No, I don't give a fuck about what anyone say. No, I don't give a fuck about what anyone say. Baby, how much I really take?